Monks are known for their uh, for their serenity and their ability to uh, just be calm under pressure. But this uh, particular monk subclass, the Way of Harmony, seeks to bring together the party into a cohesive whole, I'm making it a more of a, of a team, a group, a family, than just loosely connected individuals. Hello, welcome back to DIS. I am this idiot, and I am reviewing the Monk Way of Harmony. So without further ado, let's get into that. Alright, the Monk Way of Harmony. <laughs> Monks who follow the Way of Harmony can be found among many other monastic traditions. If they are not explicitly taught, they tend to divine this approach through their natural and instinctive ability to empathize with the key of others. The Way of Harmony is a tradition that many great teachers are versed in even if it is not what they teach to their students. It is the art of reading, attuning to, and resonating with your allies to achieve more than you could alone. Teacher's Soul Starting when you choose this tradition at third level, your understanding of key allows you to naturally draw out the best in others. As an action, you can kill it at one key point to cast Bless or Shield of Faith without providing material components. Additionally, you gain the Guidance Cantrip if you do not already know it. Companion's Heart By 6th level, as a bonus action, you may touch a creature and tune your key to better resonate with them. That creature must succeed on a Wisdom saving throw against your key save DC, or the following effects apply. You gain a number of key points equal to the target CR or level, minimum 1. The target has disadvantage on any attack rolls against you. You have advantage on any wisdom or charisma checks that relate to the target. A creature may choose to fail the saving throw. Once used, this ability cannot be used again until you finish a long rest. Warrior's Instinct Beginning at 11th level, your ability to react to the world around you is enhanced by the ambient key of your allies. For every powerful ally you fight alongside, you may draw on you may uh, you may draw on their key to grant yourself an additional reaction. Once you have drawn an ally's key, you must complete a short rest before doing so again from that ally. A powerful ally is a character of approximate or greater power than the monk. And finally, Master's Harmony. At 17th level, you open your key to your allies, allowing them to share in your ability. Rush of Wind. As a reaction, you may spend one key point to an allow an ally within 30 feet to dash or disengage as a bonus action. Patient Warding. As a reaction, you may spend one key to allow an ally within 30 feet to dodge as a bonus action. Flurry of Strikes. As a reaction, when an ally within 10 feet of you hits an enemy with a melee weapon attack, you may spend one key point to allow them to make two additional weapon attacks as a bonus action. And Stunning Guidance. As a reaction, when an ally within 10 feet of you hits an ally with enemy with a melee attack, you may spend one key point to force the target of that attack to make a constitution saving throw against your key save DC. On a failed save, that creature is stunned until the end of your next turn. That is it. On to the actual review. Alright, story-wise, I do enjoy it. I think, 
I really like it because it's not just, uh, it's not necessarily a new, like, way for the monks. It's kind of a way that other monks can get to just by themselves. Um, which is cool. Um, and it's kind of by, like, just attuning yourself to the key of you and others. Um, each, uh, feature, teacher's soul. You can cast Bless or Shield of Faith. You have Guidance Cantrip. Those are really good spells. They're really nice for a monk to have. Especially if you do can do it like on yourself or you can do it on others. Either. Um, it is a action to cast that, which is a little unfortunate but makes sense. Companion's Heart. You can, as a bonus action, touch a t creature and tune your key to them. Um, so you gain more key. They have disadvantage on attacks against you. You have advantage on wisdom or charisma checks to them. So that last one is good for out of combat. And the, the second one is good for in combat. And the first one is just good. Um, they can choose to fail the saving throw, which is nice. Um, and you can only do it once per long rest, which is good. Um, Warrior's Instinct. You have an additional reaction. And you're drawing on the other people's key. Once you draw on one, you can't do it against that one. So that's probably would be really good for, like, additional, um, reactions for, like, for now, for this 11th level, it would mainly be opportunity attacks. Unless you have like something like counter spell, maybe. Um, well, that would be this would be really good for if you had like more mastery and sentinel or something like that. Um, and then master's harmony. You can using your reaction spend key to allow, let other people use your basically your basic monk abilities. So, stunning, so like the stunning blow, the flurry of blows, the patient, the uh, uh, wind walker, whatever. Um, so dashing, disengaging, dodging, two, two bonus attack, uh, bonus action attacks, stunning, strike, that stuff, which is nice, and that is really good paired with the warrior's instinct where you can be like oh i've got a uh, so i've got a say a party of four so you have three extra reactions so you can blow all those in the same round and give people everyone the flurry of strikes or something like that i would say you can do one reaction thing so you can do flurry of strikes and stunning guidance that'd be maybe not um, so, let's see here, it does, it, that is, I like that build upon, um, is anything too overpowered or underpowered? I don't think so, I think it looks pretty good, um, okay, good, where's it going? This is another short one, um, should it be any other class? No. Is it too similar to any other subclass? I don't think so. Um. Yeah. Words. Uh, so this is my review of the Way of Harmony. Tell me what you think. Um, tell me what. Uh, what? Uh, tell me what I got wrong, or my. Tell me what you disagree with me with my, this uh, review. I look forward to that, or you can agree. Kind of want to get that dynamic of it though. Um, it is by... Do, 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 do. I'm not entirely sure where I can look it up, though. It'll be in the comments. Put the thing below. This...
Hi, uh, I got this at uh, Dungeon Master's DM's Guild. It is from Dark Abyss Keeper. Um, and next subclass I'm doing. So I'm going on to the Paladin. And this oath is called the Oath of Autumn. Seems to be about, um, let's see here, reaping, like uh, harvesting, and like growing, um, and just kind of help with transitions and stuff. Um, a lot of, seem, it looks like a lot of stuff to like help others, um, and a lot of stuff with like damaging and like uh, mitigating damage. Um, so that should be interesting. Join me next time for that. Um, again, uh, thank you for watching to the end of this. This is going to be a lot shorter. Hope you like the music selection. If you hate that, let me know. If you love it, let me know. If you don't care about it, let me know. Um, so there's... I have to remember where I'm putting it. Because I put it in the same place. I forget. It's one of the here where I'm getting the uh, previous ep uh, video or episode. And the channel stuff. Um, let's see here. So that was a way of harmony. A lot of like helping others and also kind of helping yourself and um and then the next one is of the bottom which should be fun i'll see you next week for that this idiot out peace need to figure out a jingle and an exiting strategy okay bye